Hey guys, so what is going on? So in today's video, I'm doing a bit of a build. I'm doing a Monocentrophus Balfouri build. Uh, and I'm doing an enclosure build for my individual juvenile that I have. Now I have three slings, I had four, and yeah, he got out and I'm fairly certain he died. Uh, I put him in a new enclosure and somehow he managed to crawl through the tiniest hole, yet he was like that, but was like that, but he crawled out of that. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Uh, Hugh he Houdini'd me. So anyway, I've been sitting back thinking about ideas and how I would do this, and thankfully the Dark Den, I've been watching his videos uh, constantly on repeat just for background noise and listening. Uh, and yeah, I'm using clay as a base binder to hold in the piece of wood that I've put in so he can web all around that without having to worry about anything. But the thing is, the thing is, I'm actually taking two of these tubs and making an enclosure. So anyway, I have about a quarter of it done right now. Um... Yeah, I've got the plastic tub, I've got the clay, and I have the wood, and that's it. I have the design, the idea in my head, I tried to draw it, but since I'm having trouble sleeping, it looks like that. It looks like an octagon, polygonal, cubal tools. I don't even know what you would call that. But, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about here, and I'm going to do a step-by-step -step in this video to show you guys my progress. So I'm letting the clay dry right now, so let's look at it. All right guys, so really quickly, we're gonna test out my new lighting setup here, so. Oh, so much better, look at that. Now if I was to shut my actual light off, hang on. Much better, check that out guys. So, what I have here is pretty simple in my mind, honestly. So, we have the stick here for him to make his webbing around, we have the clay down here, and that's gonna act as a binder to hold the log in place. Binder to hold the log in place. Now I could use super, I could use hot glue. Do not use super glue. I could use hot glue, but sadly I don't know where my hot glue is so yeah it's a bit of an issue so oh well <laughs> so anyway hopefully he's gonna do this fairly well but what my initial idea is is to take another identical tub and set it on top then I'm gonna hook all four corners together and then one in the middle so there's no chance of any lifting uh, then the next thing is, is I'm going to sacrifice another one of these tubs and I'm gonna cut the top out of it and then I'm going to cut a smaller hole in the roof of this. So I'm going to cut out the entire bottom of this. Where the ridge dips down here, every ounce of that's coming off. And I'm going to probably go from about here, take leave about that much, and then leave, well, I don't know actually. Hang on a second. Let me think about this. The whole premise that I'm thinking of here is if I cut a hole out in the actual tub itself, I can't use the piece of plastic that came from the tub. I mean, I can, but I'm going to have to bend it up and then slice it and hope I don't cut through it. But what the plan is, is to cut a smaller hole out of this and then cut the entire panel off of this. That way, I can just hook the entire thing on here. And that way, there's no open gaps or anything. It's just going to lay over the hole with extra. That's the initial plan. So I need to get started on that here soon. Hopefully, by the time I'm done with all my running today, this will be solidified. I am adding substrate to this. Don't, don't freak out. Uh, I do have a cocoa fiber substrate mixed up, so there's nothing to honestly worry about. And really quickly, I am going to give you a quick show of my Balfouri. So just at the moment, he's inside of here. Uh, I didn't have anything else to put him in. I mean, I guess I could throw him in one of these tubs right here with a lid on it and not worry about it. But in my opinion, I feel like he's going to be—he's going to feel safer in a smaller enclosure. So let's open this up. Hopefully, he's not too defensive, and let's get a good look at him. So this guy is usually fairly, fairly mean. Honestly, but as I can, as you guys can see, what I was talking about—that blue head there. So this is a Monocentrophus balfouri, also known as a, as a Socotra Island Blue. These guys are. I think these are actually a New World species. I can't remember. They remind me of a freaking baboon tarantula. I feel like they're part of the baboon family, honestly, just with the aggression level. And uh, let's go. He's not. He's not. He's not in the mood right now to get feisty with me, honestly. Oh, now he wants to move. <laughs> right back to the same position when I went to open the lid. Oh, well. All right, guys. Don't mind the clutter back here. I'm doing a lot of projects at one time here. So, anyway, I have the top lid put on. I have not cut the hole out yet. But this is going to be the idea to hold these guys down. It's just going to be a nut and a washer. A screw and a washer. Uh, I've got six of these put in. I'm just going to put all the screws in, see if they line up. Um... And then I'm taking them back out. And then we're, from there, we're going to cut the lid and add the substrate. 
once this is fully dry I just want to make sure that these holes lined up and clearly these ones did not uh, I might have been drunk when I did those obviously I don't know how I did that backwards so we might not have well, I can always go back and redo those so yeah we're gonna get these four on the last two and see how it looks then take it apart and cut the top off okay so now as you guys can see I have all of these bolted on so that's what it's gonna look like in the end I think that looks pretty cool so far actually um, yeah and yeah sorry don't mind the uh, little fuzzy on my bed he's a uh, feeder for the Savannah monitor upstairs I just haven't got around to doing it yet and I figured him being out of the box would be better than being trapped in the box and being afraid he probably he's afraid now but it's completely different and also we got four rats that were supposed to be feeders but we have one male and three females so we're gonna try to breed those guys so that way we don't have to spend 50 something dollars again at Uncle Bill's for feeders so it's stable he's not gonna get out of this in any way so now all we have to do now is remove all of this and cut I'm gonna draw a line make sure I get everything done and then I got to figure out how to create a hinge system and a lock so yeah it's gonna take a bit of thinking honestly all right we'll be back all right so we have everything disassembled uh, all the bolts are out they're right here so I just did it roughly I'm not gonna worry about perfection I'll get in here and touch it up later uh, so anyway, we have our lines I just took them top to bottom forward to forward here and that right here gives me a bit of a guide for the space that I need to leave in order to assemble this completely so I'm gonna take my box cutter slowly etch these lines out make them better cut them out and then once it's fully out and there's a hole here I'm gonna come back through and try to straighten these lines up a bit and after that next thing we have to work on is the door and then let that dry a little bit longer add the substrate and then introduce the Balfouri stay tuned and just like that the hole is cut all right, now we got to attach the new lid, which I had to cut another one of these and hope I cut it straighter than this disaster. So we're going to trim this up. All right, so the hole's cut out. Trash that. And this is what I was talking about when I said double layer it. So pretty much just have enough room on the side. Uh, not entirely sure how I'm going to fasten it down, though. That's my issue. As dumb as it sounds, I might put some bolts into it to hold it down. And I wouldn't put the long part, I wouldn't put the long part of the screw inside. I'd put it coming up through the top. I'm not worried about it coming through the top. Um, so that is a possibility. I still have to add ventilation holes, so I'm going to add those into the side on the bottom here. Uh, and we're just going to do it the same way I made these holes right here. I just took the, uh, I just took a hot, uh, a hot paper clip and uh, heat it up on my stove. I usually have a small blowtorch, but I can't find it. But, yep. So we gotta figure out how to fasten this down now and go from there. Alright, so immediately that looks as dumb as I thought it would. So, four. And then we have this flap here that allows me to open up and feed the tarantula. So I think for temporary it'll be fine. Uh, I've got some boards and I think what I'll do is I'll go outside, get one, cut it down to sit on top of here. I'll do that a little bit later though. Uh, other than that, this is dry. The Balfouri could go inside of it once I add the substrate, so let's go ahead and get this started. Okay guys, so the substrate's in. I think that looks pretty cool, honestly, and my lighting system here isn't doing very well justice. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to transfer the Balfouri in here, because I can't put him in here and then try to screw this down. I gotta screw it down and then put him in here. So let's do this. And guys, just like that, the build is done. Now, like I said, I don't like the way this looks. This is tacky. Uh, this is annoying. You just use silicone, silicone together, but this is going to be a strong hold. He can't get out through any of this. The only escape he has is right here. I've already put him inside of there. Let's remove this tag real quick, though. Thankfully, with these dollar store containers, these tags come off easy. They're more plastic than anything. But as you see, he's already on the lid. He's not a mature male, so that's a, uh, that's a good thing to see. But, yep, this is the enclosure, so hopefully he webs it up nicely. I'm going to give it about a week, and um, I'll do an update on him. So, i got to figure out the lid design. So, if you guys have any idea what would work great uh, as an actual lock for this, I'd be really, really appreciative, because I don't think anything's really going to work. 
I didn't think the idea fully through with the lid. I thought about the idea of the lid, didn't think of how I would actually attach and install the lid. So this is just gonna be temporary. Why are you on the lid? Why are you on the lid? Is he drumming? Like, what is that? I think he's just getting a foothold, actually. He's going into a pokey stance. That's pretty cool. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, really quickly, the main reason that I ended up giving him a rehouse was he had way too much wet substrate. The substrate was not just... It, it like, it, like, collected moisture from the room. It was so wet. Like, it was a dark color. Like, it just got done. And it was just absolutely just... It's, it was stinking. It was so saturated with water, and I don't know how that happened. I didn't even put that much water into it when I made the sub substrate. I have more of a, a dry consistency. I usually make half a batch of wet and half a batch of dry, and then add the dry to the wet so it all balances out nicely. But he also had uh, fruit fly maggots inside of his tank with him from on a dead cricket that he killed and fully didn't process. Didn't fully process. And he also had little white mites, and the best way to get rid of those guys is dry substrate. So he has mm, semi-damp substrate, but as of for right now, guys, this is the new Balfouri enclosure. Hopefully he webs this up nicely. This is a perfect size for him. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And yeah, if you guys have any ideas for the lock, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Sorry, one more side note. This whole project took me about 12 hours to do and the main reason for that is, is I was waiting for the dang clay to dry other than that everything went together within about 10 minutes just want to give you guys a good reference on how long I'd actually been working on this with the idea because this was just a spur of the moment I like it and I might actually make a couple more like it if I get some arboreals uh, stand this up put a base in the bottom of it and make a front opening door I know how to do that very easily so we might just try something like that I might even change this with glass actually but anyway, later guys.